What is going on, you beautiful human being? It is that time again where we have to clean some rolls, clean some ears, do some nail clipping. Looks like Monkey wants to go first today. So let us start off by cleaning, cleaning his rolls and his ears. This is unscented baby wipes. I like to go in with these first and then in with a Kleenex and then we have some cleaning solutions. But we're going to go right in and just go in between and clean out. I don't know if you can see that, but I love using baby wipes because you know that they're like approved and safe um, for use, usage. <laughs> usage. <laughs> they're good to use on skin because they're used for babies. Um, if you do ever get a pug, this is like a really important habit to get into because they put their flat faces into stuff and then they get like dirt and everything. Yeah, you get dirt and everything, huh? Yeah. How's this year doing? This year is pretty good. Just give it a nice little clean in there. Pretty good little ear. How's this one? This one's looking really good. Um, if you've watched our other videos, you know that Monkey loves to swim. If you have a swimming dog, especially if they have folded over ears like this, um, it's really important to actually clean, clean their ears because they can get bacteria stuck in there as well. Let's do this cleaning solution, huh? Let's do some cleaning solution. Oh, I do that every time <laughs> where I like shake it and then a bunch of stuff comes out. All right, come here, good boy, sit, good sit. All right, dun, dun, dun. All right, get it in there, give it a nice little shake around, nice little soapy soap. Got my Kleenex, wipe away any of the excess. And then of course he's gonna shake, right? Because you know, it's, if you've had water in your ear, you know, it can be uncomfortable. Sometimes he gets like <laughs> the splash stuff on the, <laughs> on the wall, splash stuff. <laughs> I don't know, the goop, the goop. Well, yeah, I know, hey buddy, there you go. Um, okay, I know it's itchy. Your tip does a good job. All right. I guess I'm taking a Q-tip in between his rolls because sometimes, yeah, I wish I could show you that. It's quite, quite nasty, but. It's just so much stuff gets trapped in there, huh? Stuff gets trapped. Yeah. And we'll just double check his ear with a Q-tip. Don't ever stick Q-tips like deep inside the ear canal because it's like the same as people where um, you, could da you could actually damage the eardrum, so. So you don't want to do that. Sorry, I'm concentrating. Right, good boy. Do you shake? Good boy. Let's give you a couple, couple little treats for that, huh? Good job. So, hey, sit. Wait. Manners. Manners are important. They are important. All right. Now for the nails. Now for your nails. So I like to flip them on their backs. I just find that easiest. I find that the easiest. Okay, come here, buddy. Come here. Good boy. 
Flip you around. Woo, good job. <laughs> Try to go so you guys can see his face. All right. I'm just like really concentrating. Try to get the blue claw. See, I wanted to wait till he looked at me there because that was a little intense. It's your turn. Yes, it's your turn. Come here. <sighs> Axel always sneezes because of the nail dust. Gotta get the little blue off. Good boy. Now just the back paws. I did this last time where I like bend over so much where I almost, I almost get um, my hair is stuck in it. So that's going to suck one of these days. One of these days. And I just like to hold them like this for a second before I just let them up because just because we're done doesn't mean you go up right away. Good boy. That was so well done. Good job. Now I'll gently let him up. Good. All right, let's get you some food. Let's try to get Monkey out of the way. Go on your bed. Let's go. to be all serious because monkey's a bad boy. He wants to steal Axel's food. Good boy. Good job, buddy. So yeah, if you saw my last video, the Q&A, like what do you use for treats? I just use their dog food. Good job. Yeah, good job.